everything you see in the front of you is born of the Aramaic. Even this language here in the front of us with the letters, with the way it is written, this is Aramaic. This is, you know, like the, the, the font changed, etc. But it's still, it's in the origin of it, it's Aramaic. This is a new way, by the way, to write Arabic. I mean, this is not what this is this is not the way the Arabic was in the time of Muhammad. In the time of Muhammad, it was almost 80, 90 percent of it written like Aramaic. And uh, if you look at those numbers, those numbers we see in the front of us, those are Aramaic. The numbers you use today, like in, in English, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the alphabet, and it is numbers in the same time. Aramaic are the most interesting, smart, intelligent nation ever exist in history. The word Europe is Aramaic. The word Africa is Aramaic. All the numbers you see, you use today in English, those are coming from the alphabet of the Aramaic. The Aramaic alphabet is numbers. Maybe we should make a... Let us see. Maybe we can find something to help. All right. But maybe not too much clear. But you see, this is those are this the alphabet you are using today. The numbers you are using today are the alphabet of the Aramaic. And the, the look change by time. The look change. Like number one is Alif, A. This is number one. You know? Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So this is an alphabet which is contain numbers at the same time. This is why you you know if you if you remember in the Quran we have words which Muslims cannot understand. Kahayas, chapter nineteen, verse number one. If you ask Muslims. What this is mean? Kaf ha ya ain sad. In fact, it doesn't say that in the Quran. It doesn't say kaf ha ya. That's silly. It's one word, as you see here. It is just one word. Kahyas. What does that mean? They don't know. Allah knows best. And they start guessing. Everyone give you his own guessing. Kahyas simply is collection of Aramaic numbers which is alphabet, which is equal to numbers, which will give you a sentence. I mentioned to you before that Kahayas is a biblical sentence. Let us show you. All right. I'm just trying to find
Here we go. We found something to help. If you look here, you will find in the Arabic uh, alphabet, which is coming from the Aramaic alphabet anyway. I don't know if it's clear for you or not. This is the letter Aleph. Uh, hold on. It's asking me to log in too. Hold on. We click by mistake. Let me take a snapshot so because each time I click in it, it asks me to go and log in. It's an image in Google, you know. All right, take selfie. All right, sorry for the little bit of delay. Now we have it. All right. And let us take this one down. All right. Here you see those are the Arabic alphabet, which is born of the Aramaic. Letter A is equal to 1. Letter B equal to 2 etc so like you go by the alphabet and you will notice with me that uh, this is how to explain to you how this this thing work because maybe some of you will be confused why why the letter here is equal to 1000 what does that mean so from the letter 1 to the letter 10 yeah the numbers are equal to its position by order so letter a is equal to one letter b is equal to two letter j is equal to three etc and then the last letter and the number 10 the no, letter number 10 yeah is equal to 10 then right that after that the letter number 11 will be double of the previous number before it so letter, letter number k or k is equal to 20 which means we add just 10 to every number to follow so now l is equal to 30 m is equal to 40 etc until we arrive to the number the letter number 20 and then the number will be double to the a, a previous you know what i mean so this is the letter here you will notice here right away it says 100 Qa is equal to 100 letter after it is equal to 200 Letter after it is equal to 300, etc., until we arrive to 1000. Okay, what does that mean exactly? If we go back to Kahayas, we can take those numbers and we will see what they are equal for. As you see here, Ka is equal to 20. Let us make a different color. This is letter K equal to 20. Now, where is the letter H? Letter H is number 5. Where is the letter Y? Is equal to 10. Where is the letter A? Uh, A. Uh, find me out. <laughs> I forgot how. Here we go. Is equal to 70. And then the last letter is sod or sa. All right. And this is sa. So if we calculate those letters together, the total will be a number which is equal to the sentence, which is saying, actually, let us show it to you in the screen. So you can understand it better. 
I will put the letters next to each other. <clears throat> Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. This is the word chaos equal k is equal to 20 ha is equal to 5 10 is equal to 10 uh, I mean uh, 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 sorry uh, yeah is equal to 10 uh, ah is equal to 70 and then sod so is equal to 90 total is 195 the word the Messiah by letters is equal 1 plus 30 plus 40 plus 60 plus 10 plus 8 and a remember is equal to what to the num to the alphabet to the letters this is the word in messiah equal to 149 chaos is equal to 195 the word ilahi which means my god is equal to 1 plus 30 plus 5 plus 10 46 chaos mean el masihu ilahi which mean the messiah is my god 195 Muhammad is a thief he stole that word he do not know what it does mean and not a single Muslim can tell you what this word mean because simply it is not a word it's a coding the Aramaic they used to use coding especially after Christianity spread between them. So the Roman, they start discriminating anyone who follow Christianity will be killed. So if somebody want to say to somebody, the Messiah is my God, he will say, Kahayas. the Roman, if he speak Aramaic still, he will not know what he's saying. What does that mean? If somebody wrote a letter to somebody, he will not be able to read it because what does it mean? It means nothing. Which language is that? Right? And there is something very important we need to remember about this chaos. Where we find the word chaos, anyone remember? Just to show you that this is about the Messiah. It's very clear. If we go to chaos, you will find that this is in the chapter of Mary. <laughs> is it it? It's obvious. It is in the chapter speaking about Maryam. The first verse in the chapter of Maryam, it says, the Messiah is my God. 